Yo, what's happening, my fellow gear heads? It's me, Gear Gearbo135, and today I'm going to be reviewing another new toy. And this time I'm going to be recording it so you can only see my hands. So, so you don't get distracted by anything else. So, this is the toy. It is the fourth Dr. Sonic screwdriver from, I think it was... 42 years ago? Doctor Who has been around for over 50 years and I don't remember what... How many years the fourth Doctor was on. So... On to the details. We have like a... a little emitter right here. It's shaped like a bullet. If you don't see. And... I really like this design. And it's very squishable, so you, so if you're swinging, so if you're swinging around like a melee weapon, so if you're swinging around like a melee weapon, you won't hurt anyone. Another detail about it is that it doesn't have a button. You might be asking, "Oh, where? How do you turn this thing on?" Well, it's simple. You do this. Look at my hand. You pull down on this, and it makes the sound. And I really like this because I think it can give you a little bit of a thumb workout for some reason, and other things. I also noticed that there's, once again, frickin' speaker holes in the back. And also this. <laughs> I can't stand it! Why do they do this to toys? They always have to have legal crap on them. And, once again, whatever this is. And also, I don't know if this happens a lot, but I noticed that there's a little black spot right here. I don't know if that's like a detail that I missed when I saw a 4th Doctor episode or not. It's like a bolt or something. Also, oh, I forgot. I had to cycle through the sound effects. Here you go. Two... It goes through four sound effects, it goes on a cycle. I'll hold it down for a second. And one of my biggest gripes about this toy is that it doesn't use the classic sounds from the fourth actual prop from the fourth Doctor episodes. That's the only thing I don't like about it. It doesn't have the classic sounds. And I like the classic sounds. That's still pretty cool. So personally... What do I think about this? I think it's cool. The details are pretty accurate. So there's a seam right there, and again, the sound plate. And that. And this freaking battery compartment. But the details are nice and accurate. I like it. I think you guys should look this up and get it. I think you'll like it, and if you're a fan of Doctor Who, this would be a great thing to add to your collection if you're a fan of the classic series. Well, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.